Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to find the nth term of a given geometric sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So, last time nga pala guys, meron na tayong video at inalagay ko siya dito. At yung link ng video natin about geometric sequence or introduction for geometric sequence ay ilalagay natin sa ating description box. So, if you're interested, you can visit that video para mas maintindihan mo what do I mean or what do we mean by geometric se sequence. So, let's have here a then term of geometric sequence. Ito yung formula natin. The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So we have here different uh, elements or different uh, variables here na kailangan natin malaman or maging familiar tayo. So we have here the first is a sub n which is your nth term. Siya yung hinahanap. And usually na hinahanap. Your a sub 1, basically that is your first term. Your r is the common ratio. Your n is simply the number of terms in a given sequence. So we have here a problem. Find the 7th and the 13th term of the geometric sequence. 10, sorry, 5, 10, and 20. So again, we are asked to find the 7th and the 13th term. Ito lang ngayon yung gagamitin natin to answer this problem. So let's try finding the 7th term. Since we're trying to solve for the seventh term, we need to uh, figure out what is the value, what are the values of this uh, of these um, elements or variables. Your a sub n, since seventh term to, that is a sub seven, and then equal to a sub one, r raised to n minus one. Okay, that is our formula. Now. Your a sub 1 here is equal to your first term, which is 5, again 5. Your r, the common ratio, is equal to, so that na, your r is equal to 10 divided by 5. Again, for the common ratio, papuntahan nyo yung second term divided by the first term. Okay, kaya pwede naman yung third term divided by the second term. Pero dito, dito ang ginamit natin, is that your second term and the first term. And we have the common ratio of 2. That is your common ratio. Okay? So let's erase this one. And for the value of n, which is your number of terms, we are asked to find the seventh term. Meaning, we have seven terms, all in all. So that is 7. Dependent dito. Now, substituting this formula, your a sub 7, is equal to your a sub 1, which is 5. And then your r, which is 2. So we need to use parentheses here. Or, ito na lang, ito na lang. Dot na lang. Okay, and then 5. Your a, uh, sorry. Your common ratio is 2. And then n. Again, your a sub 1 is 5. Times your common ratio, which is 2. Raised to your n, which is 7. Minus 1. Now, simplify the exponent of your 2, and this will give you 5 times 2 raised to 6. Before multiplying 5 by 2, you need to simplify the exponent first. So, ang 2 raised to 6 natin is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And alam natin, this is 4, this is 4, this is 4. So, we have 4 times 4, which is 16. And then 16 times 4, that will give you how many? 64. Okay? Tama ba tayo? Okay, the answer is 64. So, we have here 5 times 64. When you multiply 64 by 5, uh, this is 5 times 4, that is 20. 0, carry 2. 
5 times 6, that is 30, plus 2, that will give you 320. If you say nito, guys, your a sub 7, or the 7th term of the sequence, of the sequence um, 5, 10, 20 is 320. Ito yung pang itong term natin for this problem. Now let's move on with the 13th term. Again, 13th term. Now for the 13th term, same formula, pero since Pang 13 ang inanap natin, this, this should be a sub 13 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Okay? Now, figure out natin yung value ng a sub 1. Siyempre, isang term lang yan, that is 5. Your r, which is the common ratio, which is 2. Your n is equal to 13. Okay? 13 ang inanap kasi natin eh. Now, using these values, i-plug in natin, that is a sub 13 is equal to 5 times 2 raised to 13 minus 1. Okay? So, we have here a sub 13 is equal to 5 times, okay, 2 raised to 12. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito, we will multiply 2 by itself 12 times. And your 2 raised eight of, is of 12, 2 raised to 12, that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, okay, times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alam naman natin, di ba, yung 2 raised to 6 natin, This is 64. Kanina, di ba? We have 2 raised to 6. Alam natin that 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64. Okay? Now, meron pa tayo another 2 raised to 6. Ibig sabihin, this is equal to 260, ah sorry, 64. So, para makuha natin na mas bilis yung 12 raised, uh, 2 raised to 12, we need to multiply um, 64 by 64. And dito na tayo multiply. 4 times 4 is 16, carry 1. 4 times 6, that is 24, plus 1, that is 25. So, 6 times 4, that will give you 24. This is 4, this is 2, okay? So, 6 times 6, that is 36, plus 2, 38. So, ang value natin dito is 6, 9, 0, 1. So, the answer here is 4,096. Para pa lang sa value ng 2 raised to 12. Okay? 4,000 A sub 13 is equal to 5 times. 4,096. And to get the 13th term, we need to multiply 5. Uh, we need to multiply 4,096 by 5. Okay? So 5 times 6 is 30, 0. Here 3. 5 times 10, which is 45, plus 3. It will give you 48, 8. And then carry 4. 5 times 0, 0, plus 4, 4. 5 times... 4, that is 20. Ibig sabihin nito guys, the value or the 13th term for this sequence is simply 20,480. Okay? So, ito na yung mismo natin. Ito na yung mismo ito na yung mismo um, um, problem natin. Ito na yung mismo sabot natin sa problem natin for the 13th term. Now, um, as you can see, I will flash a problem here sa ating screen. Again, I will flash a pr problem here in which you will try to find the nth term of a given arithmetic sequence. 
And if you're done solving this problem in our screen, feel free to comment down below your answer for me to check if you're doing good or if you understand this kind of topic. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gong. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!